Dr. Zakir, relating to the application of al-kuhul, or black eyeliner, as we know it is sunnah, it is a sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah bless him. Um, is it something which is permitted during the fast? As far as putting alcohol, in our country, India, it's called a surma, or a black eyeliner, it's sunnah of the Prophet. And we get in the hadith that Anas Mallah be pleased with him. He used to always stay with the Prophet, he used to cook his food also, and he used to put this alcohol. And Prophet never prohibited him, even when he put during fasting. So this proves that putting kohol does not break the fast, it is permitted. And even when you put any eye drops or ear drops, even if the ear drops or eye drops, after a certain time, you can feel the taste in the throat. According to most of the scholars, it does not invalidate the fast because that is not the normal passage of food. And eye drops, these are medicine, they aren't food. And there are times that because you know that having a medical doctor, the ears, nose and throat, they're connected, known as ENT. ENT, ear, nose, throat. So when you put eye drops, even the ear drops, you know, nasal drops, there are chances after some time it may go into the throat and you may feel the taste. If in the nasal drop, you should throw it out. But ear drops and eye drops, you feel the taste. According to most of the scholars, it does not break the fast. But there are some scholars who say that if it reaches the throat, it will nullify the fast. But the right ruling is that because it's not the normal passage for food and drink, according to most of the scholars, it does not nullify the fast. And if someone who has a doubt, the best for him is, he delays putting those nasal drops after the sunset. So it's absolutely safe. But the right ruling is that even if you put a nasal drop or ear drop, it does not break the fast.